weather alert. Good evening, everybody. You know, for every, almost every night for the last few weeks, I stand here and I say, let's look at the live shot from Grand Rapids, and I say quiet conditions. Not so much tonight, although it's really not bad. You can see there's kind of a haze in the air. That's the light snow that's falling out there. We have some of that already on the north side of Grand Rapids and across the city, obviously, and uh, we'll show you that on radar here momentarily. So overnight, we're looking for light to steady snow for most of the area, about one to two inches in most areas through the overnight hours and through tomorrow. So it's a little bit of a longer duration event there and then seasonable temperatures the next few days. So as we look at our winter weather advisory, wherever you see these counties that are filled in in purple, that's south and east of Grand Rapids. So we're talking Berry County, Eaton County, all the way down to the Indiana borders. That includes all the counties along and south of the I-94 corridor. That's where we expect the more appreciable snow, the heavier snow through the overnight hours and through tomorrow, about two to four inches in these areas and over towards Detroit, if your travel plans take you there and up towards Lansing as well. If you're not in the advisory, probably only about an inch or two is what we're looking at. And if you're further north and west of Grand Rapids in our northern counties, you're seeing at an inch or less is what we're talking about there. So just remember, if you're further north of GR, less snow, south and east, a little bit more. You can see there is snow that's blanketing a lot of the area. Well, there's a big hole right here, uh, but we are expecting the light to steady snow to continue overnight off and on and through at least the first part of tomorrow. Our temperatures are generally pretty consistent across the board about mid 20s. We'll stay in the mid 20s through the overnight hours. We might drop another degree or two here. There is a little bit of a wind chill makes it feel like it's in the teens. So just a heads up to bundle the kids up at the bus stop tomorrow morning. Visibilities. This is a gauge of the snow that's coming down because if you've got snow falling, those white crystals uh, or those white flakes are going to impair the visibility. So where the visibilities are reduced, it tells me there's snow that's coming down at a decent clip. Two mile visibility in Grand Rapids, five mile visibility in Kalamazoo, Four mile visibility in South Haven, three mile in Holland. You get the idea. All 10 inch or all 10 mile visibility up here to our north. You're seeing maybe a flake or flurry or nothing up there. And that's where the lighter snow is going to be for this entire event. It feels like it's in the teens out there. There's those feels like temperatures in some locations out there. Let's take a look at clouds and radar movement over the last several hours. We already had some snow come through uh, this evening and now it just continues to develop. I think more of this may fill in and move on through the area, but the the heavier snow south and east of Grand Rapids is going to be closer to the low pressure system, which is out here and is going to ride up into the Ohio Valley. So you folks that are from Kalamazoo to Battle Creek to Marshall to Jackson to Lansing over towards Detroit, that's where we're thinking maybe about three, perhaps four inches of snow in those areas. Tomorrow we top out around 30 degrees. Snow showers certainly through the first part of the day should taper off to the afternoon, mainly about one to two inches for most of our Fox 17 West Michigan viewing area, except in those areas I just mentioned. You might be a little bit on the higher side of that, probably about three, maybe four inches uh, because you're a little cl closer to the low pressure area there. A little more moisture, a little more lift. We'll have a northeast to turning north wind tomorrow about five to 15 miles per hour. There's the low pressure area and there's a lot of moisture with this, but most of it is staying uh, outside of our area. We're on the northern fringe of the system with the cold air in place, so it's all frozen precip for us. This is at 6 a.m. You can see the snow showers. It goes through the first part of the day as that low starts to pull in to Pennsylvania. It pulls most of the snow out of here. I can't rule out tomorrow afternoon some light snow showers, flakes or flurries, but I think a lot of the uh, accumulating snow will be gone by that time. And then as we go Thursday night into Friday, maybe a few flakes, flurries or some snow showers, much the same on Friday as well. This is Friday at 6 p.m. We go uh, Friday night into Saturday. We've got generally quiet conditions. Saturday, there could be a few flakes or flurries. And then there's another clipper system that's going to come in on Sunday, which might drop an inch or two of snow across the area as well. So our snow Snow forecast. This lines up with those winter weather advisories. That way we have an effect until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, from around Hastings, Charlotte, and then along and south of the I-94 corridor. This area of blue, about two, three, four inches. Right through the heart of the viewing area here, about an inch or two. This is overnight and through the day tomorrow. And then north and west, some of these areas may not see anything but a flake or flurry, but that's where the lesser snow will fall. So our seven-day forecast we talked about tomorrow, up around 30 degrees, 32 on Friday. Some morning snow showers possible. We're 31 on Saturday, maybe a few light snow showers, flakes or flurries. Then we start to move into the mid-30s. 34 on Sunday, likely some snow showers, breezy. That may mix with some rain showers during portions of the day. And then we're still in the mid-30s for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. No really big systems out there, but the next uh, system to take notice of will be the one coming on Sunday. That may drop an inch or two of snow, but all of those temperatures, most of them anyways, above our normal high, which is now 32 degrees for this time of the year, guys. All right.